Good day, Abushene, South Africa. My name is Tondea Evrel Mkansi and welcome to Actuality, where spirituality meets art. Today we are in the capital city, Pretoria, and we are joined by a very special guest, Mona Monyane. She has been, guys, on our biggest screens, starring in Movango. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get to sit with her and talk to her today. Follow me as we meet her. Thank you guys for joining. Guys, I am very honored today. I am sitting next to Mona Mugnani. What an honor to be sitting right next to you today. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm oh, good. It's so great to finally meet you in Thank person you. and I cannot wait to know you. So with that being said, who is Mona? Where did Mona grow up? You know, I think every interview I've ever done, I've always talked about who I was. How mm -hmm. I grew up, where I studied, the work that I've done and all of that. And I've just realized that we are who we are in this moment. And right now I'm a humanitarian. I'm a healer. Oh. Right now I am a mother. Right now I'm a creative. Right now I'm a force. Right now I am power. And that is who Mona is right now. Um, so knowing that right now you are Mona, right? I would really like to know how long that took for you to tap into that realm where you're just like, this is Mona and this is who Mona is and I'm sticking to this Mona. I think it's taken me my whole life. You know, it's a journey, this thing. Um, from the moment we are born, we are in the process of remembering who we are. And we are exposed to so many things We're exposed to so many things and so many people that make us move away from our truth, you know? So it's taken me most, like maybe the, the most deliberate decision I made to say, let me remember myself, mm. was when my daughter passed away, you know? And then my house burned down. And then I, I left my husband. And all of those things were just like these huge moments in my life that made me... Um, question my security, question my foundation, question the choices I had made for myself, where I was, what I wanted to do with my life. Was I expressing my truth? Was I living according to who I am? Or was I just trying to be something that I wasn't, you know? And the more I started asking myself those questions uh, about my spirituality, about my background, about my ethnicity, Mm. about my identity as an African on this planet, not only just from an individual perspective, not just from a black woman perspective, but like, who am I as an African? Mm. Who am I? Where do I come from? Who are the people who came before me? What kind of powers do I possess based off of my bloodline alone? You know, And that's when the world opened up to me. And questions like this become so two-dimensional. Yeah. And it's because people aren't exploring deeper. Mm. And when you discover yourself, you realize that you are constantly changing. You are constantly um, reacting to your environment. And that is going to give you new information, you know? And you're throwing old things away. Yeah. You're growing and becoming something different every Attracting single day. Better. You mm. know what I mean? So. Um, I realized that, I really did, and, and it was then when I started the power of wellness okay. and that movement. But it was my process, it was almost like being Tuasa very publicly. Mm. Because the spirit, for me, my initiation process was through my spirit guides. I didn't have to go to Ikobela or go to, you know, wherever, but the whole process was still there. And I felt this need to share every part of it with whoever else was in the same position as me, you know, so that they can awaken to themselves. Mm. And now I am here, you know, I am here. And I am this person right now, but I am so much more open to keep exploring the many ways in which I can be. Yeah. Um, you mentioned about discovering mm. yourself, right? So I just have one specific question, right? When you discovered yourself in the acting field yeah 
how did you find yourself spiritually <laughs> in, in <the> that <laughs> sense i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah when you yeah. began that acting discovery because also acting is spiritual right it is yes acting is my creative expression so all of the characters that i've ever played speak to all of the women that are in me all of them all of them all of the work all of the ads the voice overs um everything all of the interviews they speak to the women in me so mm. it's been a rediscovery of self but then i also realized as a black woman i am not just one thing mm. i can be dr tabileng yeah i can be <laughs> mugelwa had to get i can be the warrior kalushi yes. i can be a hey, mamkwena i can be everything mm. and i can express everything mm. uh one of the things i also did i started a, a, an online activation called the real housewives of instagram right yeah. and this was during lockdown and oh my god i was losing my mind <laughs> i was so bored but i was also just rediscovering beauty for myself and we are now here with weaves and face beads every day bomogela snatched ilore you know booty like yeah ah! <laughs> I was like, "You, that's all I care. That's all." So, I did this activation and I created these alter egos. Mm. And when I look back at it now, I'm like, "This is my spirit. This is my spirit queens. These are my guides. These yeah. are all the women who are in me who are saying to me, like Melanin Monroe is like, "Love yourself. Allow yourself to be delicate and feminine and cute and bubbly and yeah. happy." Melanin Brown is like, "Be assertive. Be that go-getting woman." be that business woman be that woman who takes chances and and doesn't settle for less than what she feels is perfect and melanin magic is my spiritual queen you know she's the one who just reminds mm. you that look reconnect with yourself man you know love love the god within understand that you are made in god's image therefore you are god so don't let anybody come here and say i'm fulfilling you you can't fulfill something that's already full mm. you can come with me we can share our energies we can coexist together but i'm not empty yeah i never was i just don't realize it yet mm. you know mm. and then it was me the creator of this whole thing yeah me being shown that you allow us to work through you you allow us to talk and you listen you allow us to express ourselves through you you have that creative energy to look at something and say there's an idea. Oh, how about this? How I share my light freely because like the river which you will see, mm -hmm. it's ever flowing this creativity. Mm. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And if it if it's not flowing there, it's in the air. It pours down like rain. Mm. But water is life and I carry water through me in me. You know? So I I've realized that with my my career. Mm. that this is my testament i'm literally leaving behind a documentary on who the black woman is who oh. is the melanated queen oh my who God. is melanin magic yes and you can go and look at my whole career and you will see i don't i don't like to talk a lot i do but i don't mm. i feel like you must talk your truth and you must back it up you must show people what you mean i come from white exile i was born in exile in zimbabwe my parents were activists raised by a single mother at a home k1 witnessed mob justice grew up in sunnyside pretoria went to my fikeng you know what i mean rose up went to the university of pretoria got a degree was asked to do my honors and i said no it's too white for me here i don't see myself here i don't hear my voice here mm. and then i went on to get the career i wanted i had my kids i had the marriage i planned my life And then when my child died I was like oh okay so now what's next I had my near death experience when I gave birth as well so I stepped out of my body and they brought me back and I would ask why and they said because you have a greater purpose to serve on this earth and we're not done with you yet so this is me owning my purpose um queens are doing amazing things but Nilele you don't give yourself the shine that you give these crop labs. You True. just don't, but you're out here doing everything. Flexing, taking care of your kids, waking up every day, making sure, taking care of your families, taking care of everybody else but the God in you. So I'm going to be an example to show you that me being selfish as the crop labs say, um 
being a woman who's gonna die alone, um, being who wants a man or a woman who's this strong, this stubborn. Did he ever And I'm not responding because I ain't, it, it ain't about you, scrap lap. <laughs> this queen is busy. Thanks. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. I get what you're saying. So, from all the life experiences, um, all the encounters that you've had, like, in your life and reflecting back and you're just like, okay, which character <laughs> have you played that connected so much? So, I really am not one thing. I'm all of them. Every single one of them. In equal measure. In equal measure. And that's why... I get bored, man. You know, I've spent 15 years of my life in relationships, being defined by a man, being told what he likes, how he wants me to express myself, how I must dress, what my hair must look like, where, you know, who can you hang out with when? What can you post online? What can you say? What can you do? And then they live freely. They live freely to contradict themselves. You meet a king, you meet somebody who's sweet and loving and attentive. Tomorrow he's out. You don't know where he is. The next day he's yelling at you. The next day he's beating you. The next day he's raping you. There are things that are happening. And we must sit down and just say, oh, it's because I'm not being enough of this one thing. And that's why he's like this. No, I'm also capable of being sexy. I'm also capable of being ratchet. I'm also capable of being a bitch. These are what we get called. And then they get called a man. A man. And this word holds so much esteem because of the patriarchy that we're trying to heal from. Yeah. So I'm not going to define myself the way they define themselves. If they want to limit themselves, that's up to them. But don't project yourself onto me. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. I am every woman. All of them. All of them. All of them. Okay, so now focusing into um, your career, mm. what are those necessary steps? Like mostly uh, from growing up from exile, did you have the family support where mm. they... My mother. My mother. Yeah. I was raised by a queen. That is, that is my support system, full stop. Yeah. Full stop. Mm. And the steps that you had to take... I mean, it's very hard out here for like most of the artists. Because you guys artists. don't want to create art, you want to be famous. Yeah. It's I not agree about to the that. art. Yeah. That, that question irritates me when everybody has a phone. Mm. When people are going overseas because of videos on TikTok, yeah. on Instagram, on YouTube. You're sitting at home with your phone taking selfies and nudes, sending them and doing whatever, but you can't create content for yourself. Yeah. It's not going to change. This is South Africa. They don't give a damn about artists here. No, they don't. And then you want to fight to go into an industry that doesn't pay people royalties. That's going to tell you a budget is 2.5. And then you get 25% taken off, 20% by your agent. And then you're left with what? Money for cut drink. People lie about the lives that they live. I'm not just an actress. I don't make my living just off of acting. I would die poor if I did. Yeah. I've got a queen who is my support system and my mother's single child. I have a foundation that is strong. That's why I can shine and sparkle. But it's not this industry, especially not in this country. Stop sleeping with these directors and producers. Stop sleeping with these actors. These actors, ugh, don't defile yourself. So if you want so badly to be seen, do monologues, put yourself online, you know? I did the whole Real Housewives of Instagram, you guys were laughing. I've done videos. I wasn't getting cast. Nobody was hiring me. I built this brand by myself. I learned how to use a camera, I learned how to edit, I learned how to, you know, I've learned, I've taught myself because I am every woman, I can do everything. Yeah. But you have to sacrifice. It takes a lot of sacrifice. It takes a lot of humility. It takes being honest with yourself to realize when you're lazy, when you're procrastinating, mm. when you're making excuses, when you're keeping mm. yourself in toxic situations. Yeah. And then you have friends, you have family who have tried and talked to you and you say they're jealous or they're what, what, the, blah, 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 blah. And then you cry and you want other people to come and save you. 
Save yourselves. We were all born. I who I can see manifested out of thin air, and now we must worship them. We, I will stab you, bleach Joseph. Beyonce, please, hey. Bona royal family, show me. Grandmothers were throwing out their children. Everybody is a human being on yeah. this planet. Yeah. We hype people up so much in our that. heads. Please don't wait for a production company. They will exploit your talent for their own gain. It's what they've done to our land. That's why I brought you to this park. Nature will remind you. People came here and took our resources. And then they sell them back to us. We wake up every day mining, mining, mining. Not only the earth, ourselves. To give to somebody else so that they can make billions and then give you two rand. And then yes. you fight for that. We take money and we buy foreign brands. Not even local brands. I'm all about Melanin Magic. I'm all about our businesses. What are we doing? The reason why we don't even love ourselves enough is because we don't look at ourselves and see who we are and see what people are capable of doing. The flowers that I buy in my house come from a black woman. My clothes come from a black woman. My swag drip, black women, baby. And yeah. some black men because... <laughs> David Lale. But do you get what I'm saying? Yes. I'm like, never in my life. Like, <laughs> I'm enough. You! Exploitation, Nitali. Yeah. Don't allow yourself to be exploited. Yeah. Own yourself. Own your content. Own your music. Musicians are telling you they own our, our, our masters. They make money off of us. They give us just that signing fee. We are telling you we don't get paid royalties. We're dying poor. You see it for yourselves. But you still want to fight for this. They messed up. <laughs> you know this, this thing they say Shaka gave up the land for a mirror. And people take that so literally. Yeah. They distracted us with our image, didn't they? They made us vain. They made us competitive. They made us compare each other according to their understanding of us. The reflection. If we understand each other, you will never be intimidated by another woman in your life. When she rises, you rise with her. You rise with her. You rise through her. You rise because of her. And she gains that power to rise when you mm. receive her light. And you give. So many women say, Mona, we've been praying for you. And they have. That's why I'm here today. I would be disappointing every woman who has ever, ever taken a moment out of a precious life and time for me to pray for me by not owning my power and coming back and saying, yay, ready, pop, I Where are we not? If all of us were disenfranchised, just set tools down, please tell me what economy is going to thrive if black women sat like this. For a week. I'm not even saying for long. Just a week. If we all sat at home. Yeah, actually. All of us, you know. Ah, even if not even at home, you are somewhere, but to be booking. And just disappear. <laughs> Leave the children. <laughs> Leave the children. Leave the job. Leave the scrub lab. And go sit. What would happen? And then you must think about why. They're so focused about our hair and our bodies and our minds and our spirits and whether or not we can hang out. Why do you want to reinforce that black women don't get along? Don't lie. We're in that bathroom. We go in groups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Okay, thanks. Am I wrong? Am I mad? Am I crazy? Why are we listening to men? We need to kill the man in here. You are out here surviving. Everything. But you can period cream put me. And then you still want to be so good. You saw this crop lab. Yeah. No! <laughs> no, own yourself. Yeah. Own every part of you. You can. Everybody owns your time. They own your, your resources. So many women will say, I work in, in, a, in a management position, but I'm not getting promoted, but my ideas are. And then they, they have somebody else's name on them. But you're staying there. You're not even saying, let me take a risk and start my own firm. 
because somebody told you that black women can't work together. We need to reevaluate what we think is true. Really, because no, 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 no. So would you say that acting is your calling? Hmm. I think it's a part of it. Healing is my calling. Healing is your calling. And you get to heal people through through all your of my acting. creative expression. Yeah, and also talking about creative. Um, are there any other fields that you do? I heard you mention voiceovers. Yes, I do voiceovers, I do ads, I do theatre, corporate emceeing. I do my own directing. I do brand development, brand consultancy, influencer marketing. Um, I do my own content creation. So, yes, I do everything. Whatever it is that my creativity wants to do, I do it. If I don't know it, I learn it. And even if I do it and the first time it's crap, I go back until I perfect it, until the image I see in here is reflected here. I do my own editing, my own shooting for my own brand. I do mm. my own managing and PR, right? So, one thing I also do is I don't compare myself to anyone else. I'm very glad and happy that people own humongous Gogonjombas mentions. Good mm. for you. Shine. Woo. We receive. But, <laughs> but I'm not going to sit here every day and feel like crap if I do not have private jet. Yeah. Right now, I want my land. Yeah. I want my land. Yeah. I'm trying to work to get my land. And I don't want a piece of it. I want all of it. So, my spirituality expresses itself through my creativity, but my purpose is to shift the consciousness of my people to realize their mm. power so that we can get over this nonsense now. Mm. Black people don't suffer. We come from the land. We are the land. We know how to plant. We know how to build. We know how to fish. We know how to navigate ourselves using mm. the stars. We know how to sit here and ask for rain and Mother God will answer us. We know how to heal with these plants. We know that you can't be eating meat every day, three times a day. That is a life that you are consuming. I'm not saying I'm a vegetarian girl. I like my chicken. I love me my chicken boo. <laughs> My spicy chicken wing. Yeah. But a cow every day. No. We pray before we slaughter our animals. We tell them the purpose of why their blood is being spilt. But we've gotten into this gluttonous energy where everything is just about consumption, consumption. And we give them our time and our money to consume things that poison us. Yeah, we do So that. I don't do that anymore. I own mm. my time. I own my time. And the reason why I'm asking you this is because um, we get to a process where we lose ourselves trying to better ourselves. You know, we try so hard to better ourselves to a point that we end up forgetting the whole purpose, mm. the whole reason the problem is what you, you understand is bettering yourself. That's the problem. You know, <laughs> guys, listen to Beyonce's latest album. Listen to it. Listen to the lyrics. Our birthright is us being here. If you want to sit for the rest of your life under a tree, you fulfilled your purpose. Because why? Maybe that's what God wants from you. You are the one who has to see that there are trees to sit under. Do you understand? Yeah. You are the one who has to make sure, oh, this tree, this branches must be cut off so that it can grow. Mm. Oh, this tree, the fruits, oh, let me just pick off of these and go share them. Mm. You are engaging with Mother Nature. You are being part of an ecosystem. You are playing your part. So now we've been sold industries. We've been sold politics. We've been sold religion. We've been sold all of these other things. And then someone else defines 
how we navigate them. One plus one equals two. Okay, but what if my understanding of a one doesn't symbolize itself as that stripe? Yeah. We have hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphics, ne? We have um, the, the Arabs writing that. Yeah. The, uh, the Chinese writing their... In their own. But we must yeah. be forced to alphabet. And when you look at the hieroglyphs, those are images. We are image people. We are seers. Yeah. We, we are people of vision. Yeah. Literally. Mm. People of vision. So when you have your own vision for yourself, honor that vision for yourself. If that is being a mother to 50 children, honor that vision to yourself. Stop listening to somebody else telling you, and are you useless? Mm. You don't know what I'm here for, darling. Focus on yourself, Nana. Mm. You know? Yeah. Focus on yourself, hey? So that's my thing. Like, stop saying, I want to succeed and I get and I lose my... Because you're comparing yourself to other people's journeys and purposes. You're not actually just blocking everybody else out and going, what does success look like to me? When I was growing up, I, I grew up with books, you know? So my life, my world is so big in my head. Mm. And then I grew up traveling. So it, it's also so important. Or, you know, that one suburb. You don't even know what your land is. You don't even know how you respond to your land. When you see water, you don't even know what that spirit does. You don't even know what a tree, just sitting under it, just sitting and looking at the birds, man. And realizing, you know, if this butterfly is just here minding its business, then almost I can mind my own business. Do you understand? Yeah. Understand. So I'm just here to say that you cannot lose yourself unless you're not focusing on yourself. Yeah, I am, <laughs> listen, I'm literally deep into it right now. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like all my thoughts are making sense, mm -hmm. you know, because we lack a lot of women who actually pinpoint this matters. Mm -hmm. um, I know because I'm also raised by a single mother. So I understand where it's coming from and I understand you embracing it. Now... What would you say to women who are still sitting in their comfort zone, like still depending on men, still, you know, holding on to things that they shouldn't be holding on to? Because honestly speaking, sometimes us as we, women, we like hold on to things that literally make us die, you know? We are dying mm -hmm. because we are holding on and we are dying because we are serving all the time. We are submissive. We are also dying because we pass it on. It's not honorable lying to him, he. Stop lying to that man. Because you're not just lying to yourself, you're lying to him. You are lying to him. You're not happy and you're lying. He's not treating you well and you're lying. He's not a good father. He's not a good husband. He's not a good boyfriend. The sex is not good. Stop lying. You don't need his money. He's holding you back. Because he's insecure. Because no, I'm a bad boy. No, 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 You know what? Um, We are here. We are here. We are offering help. We are sharing our stories. We are sharing our testimonies. Listen. Pray. Wait to pray. A white candle to me and a glass of water will go and do wonders in your life. You will never believe. You sit there, you, you had illnesses, you had mental wellness issues, you had what, what and you reconnect with your spirit. And you will never believe what healing awaits you. But you have to see that fear for what it is. Confront it. Confront yourself for keeping yourself there. Because that's what we do. I kept myself in a bad situation for 15 years of my life. I kept myself in a bad situation for 15 years of my life. I kept myself in a bad situation for 15 years of my life. Until I got to the point where I was like, you girl, this is not working, hey? 
I don't recognize myself. You can't look in the mirror and go, who is this? And it's not easy. You know this thing um, of wanting things to be easy? Shame, babes. It's not easy what you've put yourself through. It's not going to be easy to get out of it. He beat you into the ground. When you're in the core of the earth burning, getting back up is going to be rough. But would you rather sit there and burn for all eternity? Is that, is that what you want? And then your son is going to watch you and then he's going to expect another woman to do the same as you. And then that man doesn't respect you, shame. You know, um, I was raised by men who were very transparent about mm -hmm. who they were. So I'm very disappointed in what I see in this world and what has become of their sons. Okay? Mm. And a man is quite clear. He's very clear. If he cares about you, you will know. Mm. A man does not stutter when he loves a woman. But if he doesn't love you, my darling, until until. <laughs> Imagine when you can just pack your love up, give it to yourself, flourish, raise your babies, travel, get out of South Africa. There is a world out there. Maybe even go to Mpumalanga. Show me because Uduzi goes away to your whole life. Oh, Jolal was devolved over when Sandy flames. Mpumalanga, there's a man with land. Who respects you and loves you, girl. Maybe he's in England. Show me, we don't know. We don't know. But it's not Steve Ovo, hey? <laughs> I really wish a lot of women could yeah. actually hear this. In as much as you are saying it comically, it is 100% yes. it, It's very true. Twitter, but I'm leaving Twitter because I'm taking my healing to the ground. I'm tired of talking to the world and people who just grab onto things because it's popular for that moment. If you are serious about your healing, I'm here. Let's do it then. That's what I've, I, I, I act. I don't like to talk too much. And if I see that no one is doing anything, mm. um, government, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> guess we'll just keep dying on your watch. <laughs> I'm not going to bury yeah. another child. It doesn't have to be my child mm. that I birth physically. I'm not going to bury another child. I'm not going to retweet another face and mm. do nothing about the fact that we are birthing these men and allowing them to be like this as the women who love them. It's so, isn't it? It's very, it's very painful to admit that. But yeah, unless you teach a man that there are standards to live up to, he will lie on the floor. Show me. Have you seen boys as opposed to little girls? Yeah. Distraction boys. Distraction. <laughs> they choose violence all the time. <laughs> See that that or they're the sweetest, most sensitive, sensitive, sensitive. Mm. we have the capacity to be everything that is our power patriarchy had its turn it's rough <laughs> everybody's seeing flames bye patriarchy <laughs> hello humanhood <laughs> hello I don't even want you know I'm not a feminist my love because again I want to talk to my feminist queens mm. self accountability hmm yeah. Dololo. Oh, okay. Uh, shaming women who want to love men? Hypocrisy, my child. Mm. You want to be free to live, but you, you want to show people how to live. I am here to say to people, can we please just for a moment, Likovi Tirubonsito, God herself said, stop. Sit at home. Mm. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. And a lot of people are not happy with what they see yeah but i was doing the work i'm ready to help and i will i will let you guys know but i walk with my guides i walk in my time so you will wait for me hmm. but in the meantime candle and water ask for the, the strength to be fearless ask for it Ask for one day with the Oshebemo to Ori. Ew! <laughs>
No! No! Mm-mm! Mm-mm! Okay. Woo! How are you? Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Because that's what's going on. You don't see it here. Yeah, man. you don't see that it. That is your pillar of strength. <laughs> With this macabre. <laughs> and then we out there trying to enjoy ourselves come morning. And then your pillar of strength in you. But what I'm saying, you say, give your pillar of strength. Can't call it a how. Can't cut. Yeah, how. And then he's going to get the three. And you're going to cook for him. And then he's going to just be like, and sleep. And then you're going to wake up and go to work and then come home, take care of the kids and cook. And then he's going to take the car and he's going to go out again. And then you're gonna go, yes, darling. You're an easy head. See, happy babes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't dog marriage. It's a beautiful institution. It's the most amazing thing that you can find that another soul can meet another soul and say, I want to walk this life with you. Mm. I want to grow with you. I want to discover it all with you. But we control each other. We own each other. We have expectations of each other. We don't respect each other as spiritual beings having our human experience and we will have dips, we'll have lows, we'll have whatever. We don't know how to love and receive love. Yeah. We don't know what love is. We come from trauma. This is another thing that South Africans need to allow themselves. Please stop sweeping under the carpet that less than 30 years ago, Kuobes wouldn't even let you sit in this park today. In this park. We still enter here and pay. Where we had to walk around with documents. Not not 50 years ago, not 500. 20 years. Years something years ago. 20 years. What's a 20 year something year old? Screw, screw. <laughs> screw, screw. And you wonder why? Because they were raised by MTV, because parents were working and couldn't mm. raise their children. Why? Because we were taken away from that role. We yeah. were made to believe that we must give them our time in order to define ourselves as successful. They took us from our homelands where we have acres of land that yeah. is now being repossessed, They're sold to come and rent. 15,000 rand. Just so that you can say location. Santon. Who made Santon famous? Santon also is a copy paste everywhere in the world. Colonizers are very boring. They have no creative energy whatsoever. Oh my God. It's the same building everywhere. You mm. don't even halala to travel. You're like, what am I going to see that's new? Yeah. To my eyes. Like, can I see some Niagara Falls? <laughs> can I see some Wizzlekin? Can I just, can I see Baton? You, Mount Everest, Dequena, oh, Baton Wena, Nile River, hello. No, I'm as, oh, this is so valuable to me. Oh, wow, I feel so important now that I have this. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I'm an African woman birthed on the African soil. I am the mother. I am my ancestor's dream. I am God. You are God. I will not play small. I will not silence my voice anymore. We have died. We have been killed. We are being raped. We are being murdered by our own sons, our own fathers, our own dads, our own husbands. Men we love. Men we kill ourselves for. Yeah. So I dare to own my voice. I dare. And it is a strong shame. Yes, I, I, oh my God, so much growth, so much growth. I mean, all we need is a hundred acres and a row of seeds and it's in our hands. Um, one last question though, theater or film? Um, I have a different relationship with both of them. No? I like film because representation is key. Yeah. Right now, however, what is represented out there is one-sided. It's a one-sided narrative. And that's why then I like theater. Because theater is a spiritual communion, babes. Yes. My energy to your energy direct. Mm. You see me, you smell me, you hear me, you can touch me. So when I say to you, queen, rise, in a theater piece, and I say, queen, rise on this it's just woo, 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 woo. Yeah. different. It's very different. It, it, you know, that. So definitely theater. And I'm going to be coming back in a huge way when it comes to that. 
please we need Huge. you i'm i'm going to yena you le makale e lo re le sa tlo ipotsa gore ha we are ready ke re se ele but i i really implore people to act fast um everything is a cycle winter comes summer comes spring comes you know plant if you haven't planted your seeds i'm sorry you're not harvesting the season but it's not too late to plant now you know it's not too late if your 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 soil is barren to tend to it get some fertilizer you know get start with a pig fork show me like mm. google how to do farming mm. you know get that work done so that this seed that you plant in yourself tomorrow is a forest but those of us who have been planting amazons pants with tunes from langer warm the fake it like my queens ne mm. you're going to find shade now you're going to find peace i allowed myself to go through spiritual vitization i don't even know english is limiting ya ri tima ha ga se wetse e le o ka setse bolo go o tla express a jang because rona ha ri bui ka ka mantsi re ra bontsha man so a ke re lang kutlo a ke re lang kutlo bo tshomi a ke re lang kutlo nkutweng and it's like it is and it's going to be beautiful and we're going to relax but it's going to be so for some of you need to go into the water some of you need to go into that belly of that whale and sit down and be reminded that god is within you're not going to find god in the man you're not going to find god in money you're not going to find god on social media unless you're following me <laughs> But you're not going to find God outside of yourself. Mm. You know? Um I don't need people to be about my life. I don't need you to support my work. I don't need you to like me. I just need you to allow your spirit to show you that it agrees with what I'm saying. Yeah, and it is ready. But yo, what dali? I stood and I watched my home burn. And with it my daughter's ashes. And I realized that If I don't do something now, I'm not going to be here very long. Don't allow the spirit to intervene on your behalf. Because that is worse. That is worse than the pain that you'll experience in your healing. Keep growing pain that time, you know. You're not losing anything. You know, right now you are in pain because you're losing. When you regrow that arm and that leg and that heart it's going to be so but at the end of it you're going to be whole again just do that like just do that we can't keep burying our sisters and we cannot keep seeing our kings turn into demons before our own eyes and sit back and encourage it no one is coming to save us no one but ourselves so heal queen heal 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 re tla bona ka morao she moitse positive go re tla le bona ka morao maybe 500 billion trillion years from now re tla o lata kwa go di thabeng tsa go kae kae ne yeah re e tla o no ring however long it takes for you to be okay but stop this stop drowning yourself stop stop living in his darkness stop allowing darkness to be the only expression of yourself there's so much of you so much light there's so much love there's so much to give to the world to your children please don't bring your babies into this world and do that to them i coming from a mother who has lost her child my baby don't bring children into the world to make them suffer or inherit your suffering you owe them that enerona we know how to reprimand don't do that pick up your crown you are a mother you are a queen you are power you will rise do it very very nice oh my god this was a very productive very calming 
informative growing conversation thank you and i really appreciate to what you are you're setting an example right and some of us are out here from today and we know this is the initiative that you are trying to bring forward and hopefully a lot of children out there can hear you you know people are losing themselves people are losing the whole purpose and we need more people who can actually say hey i am here i am saying one two three and i support you i i really support you me and you the we garden are one. He sees the garden yes me. you know i really do so because i'm a fan i would really really love if you did a monologue for us so you're saying that this whole conversation was a whole monologue. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be. I'm how do I pop a scrub up? Pow! Help us, you pow! How mama? Pow! That's my monologue. Thank yes, you. that was a monologue. Yeah, I mean, that was a Thank monologue. Thank you so much. That was a monologue. <laughs> that was a monologue. Thank you so much. It was Thank nice you. having you today. I'm so honored to have finally met you. And ooh, I can actually touch you. Yes. You and know? rise. Yeah. Your future's bright. Yeah, thank you. So beautiful. And and this was an amazing conversation. Thank You're you so much. Amazing interviewer. Oh my God, I am so honored. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I mean, Mona Munyane. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. Oh no, you I am right very then. honored. I'm sitting next to Dr. Ntabeling. Really, Dr. Ntabeling is the healer. Um, I honestly, honestly feel like you should really enjoy 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 this journey and just continue you know empowering us i am very empowered and i'm sure the viewers are also very empowered right now guys thank you so much for joining and that was your host gonde everyone can see always catch zimpe tv tuesdays subscribe thank you Pow! <laughs>